y'all welcome back to the melting pot I'm back today with another video for you guys this is my I think my weekly melt so maybe my bi-weekly melt for the beginning of August 2013 I'm um, gonna apologize for my voice I don't know how this happened I was away for the weekend went to Sandusky Ohio if any of you guys are huge roller coaster fans you'll know what I'm talking about I was in Cedar Point for two days with a super um, like one of those fast pass plus things so I pretty much got on everything in like 25 minutes it's expensive I paid about 90 almost a hundred dollars for my ticket so um, but I had a great time and somewhere along the line I lost my voice so I'm not really sure uh, how that happened or why that happened but anyway so I'm back now and I'm just gonna go through some of my empties and then some of the things that I started melting as you can see I'm working on this candle from Yankee this is island time this is one of those swirl candles that they had that I bought I believe back in May but um, it's just coconut bay and pina colada I believe yeah I couldn't look at the label but now I see it um, it's melting nice so far but this is my first melt with this candle so I can't really I can't really say but I'll definitely be back with my um, opinion about this all right so then I'm gonna go through my empties really quick uh, let's see I melted from well, I finished this clamshell from two timings heart in sunshine this is a super floral scent, so I don't even know what's in it right now, and I don't have the website in front of me. It was very powdery, light, feminine floral, and I think one cube of this was okay for me, but I believe I put three cubes in my 24 watt hot plate, and I had to dump it because it was just too, too perfumey for me. Um, I think I'm going to stick with doing uh, like one or two cubes like I did at the beginning and I believe I put some of this in a round robin I don't know because it's really good it's just in small quantities it's much better in small quantities but anyway this lasted about six hours I think it probably would have gone longer if I had not dumped it <clears throat> but yeah it was pretty good for what it was definitely too perfumey for me then from the bathing garden I finished my clamshell and raspberry lemonade this was really good. I'm not a big fan of lemonade scents, um, but I had this in my bathroom and I had this in my kitchen. And it was a very nice fruity scent. It was a very fresh, bright fragrance. That raspberry to me tends to be a little bit darker for most vendors. Um, the lemonade really, really zest gave it like a zest, gave it like a bright scent. So it's a nice summer fruity beverage scent if you like that kind of stuff. Um, definitely, I got this in a stash. I would never have ordered this. So I'm not a big fan of lemonade scents, but it was good. And then the last clamshell I finished was from Scentsy. This is um, Mad About Mint. I think I've said it before. I don't like this fragrance. I just kind of wanted to finish it off. It was a, it was like a blend of different mints. It was a good bathroom scent. I'll never order that again. Um, but I finished it, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, so those were the um, clamshells that I finished. Then from... Candles from the Keeping Room. I think I did one from her this week, yeah. This is Pink Sugared Strawberry. And to be honest, I didn't get a lot of strawberry from this at all. When I first started melting it, it was predominantly pink sugar. And it's good. I like Carol's Pink Sugar, so I'm not complaining about that. It just wasn't like a perfect blend of strawberries and pink sugar. Um, about two or three hours into the melt, I started to smell the strawberry. And then it was kind of like a mix of both. So you don't get that right away. Um, but it was really good and it lasted a very, very long time. Um, I think it went two days, which is pretty average for, for Carol's melts. But I really did like it. The pink sugar was really good as usual. And like I said, the strawberry could have been stronger. But I, it, was, it was fine for what it was. Now, one thing I have to say about this is I didn't get a bread note. So I don't know if this was supposed to be. Oh, no, it's not. It was just pink sugar, sugar strawberry, so obviously there was no bread in this. I apologize, guys. Yeah, you got the pink sugar and the strawberry, but the strawberry wasn't as strong. So then from Sassy Girl Aroma, I did three ounces in Logan Berry tea. I won this in the giveaway. Um, I would never have ordered it because I don't normally like tea scents. This did not smell like tea. And I don't know what Logan Berry is. I don't know if it's a berry or if it's... But to me, this smelled like a fruity cologne. I hated it. It threw, like, average. 
for three ounces it should have thrown a lot stronger but to be honest I didn't let it melt very long before I pitched it I did dump this way before it was done I just couldn't handle it too too perfumey for me all right then from grumpy girl this is the only scent shot I have from her um, this was in zombie apocalypse and I don't know what this is supposed to smell like um, I don't have the website I've never been on her website so I don't know this to me smelled like coffee and chocolate two of my least favorite scents um, coffee has to be a certain type of coffee straight up coffee I don't like mix with chocolate this was terrible but it threw really well um, so if you like coffee this kind of smelled like a chocolate brownie and a cup of coffee but I'm not like a big fan of this I like Rose Girls coffee this I did not like so definitely a huge no from from me in my opinion for the grumpy girl zombie apocalypse definitely too much coffee then from Rose Girls I melted my I believe my only chunk in circus concession, circus concession, and I was hoarding this because I was so sure I was going to get an order in on Saturday. I wanted to order a bag in this, um, and I didn't get an order in on Saturday because I just closed within five minutes. Um, I do have, I believe, a pie coming in this at some point when uh, the pie group stuff comes in. So I'm pretty excited about that. I, I have about a quarter pie in this, so that's good. I melted this because I thought I'd get more and now I'm done and it's really sad because this is an awesome fragrance guys this is a blend of their funnel cake cut Macintosh madness I believe and ooey gooey caramel to me the caramel in this was overwhelming um, their caramel tends to be very sweet so if you have it in blends you'll know what I mean every blend that I've had from Rose Girls that has the ooey gooey caramel in it super super overwhelming on the caramel um, but this is good. You got the hints of apple. You got a hint of bakery. Um, and then the caramel. And this is good. It smells like your typical concession scent, which I love. It's a straight up awesome scent for fall. It threw like crazy. My whole house smelled like circus concession. I came home last night from my trip and I could still smell like hints of caramel, even though it's been off for like three days. Um, yeah, it lasted about a day. It didn't last super long, about eight to ten hours. Um, but it was super strong the whole time it was melting, so I cannot complain. I love Rose Girls. Here's one I'm super excited about, because um, I have not ordered from this company, but I plan on when she opens. Um, this is Long Came Primitives Tarts and Fresh Peach. This one I did in my 20 watt warmer, the Glade warmer that everybody's raving about. This little tart went for three days. I like super strong. Um, I'm trying to explain how this works in my house. My house is what you call a little doll house. That's why I bought it. I love little houses because there's not much to take care of and it's really cozy. Um, so I turned this really old Cape Cod into like a doll house. So I painted everything in bright colors. Um, but the way my house is set up, the central staircase is the, like the center part of the house. Kind of like imagine like a pole. And then the rooms of the rest of the house kind of circle that pole, the staircase. So like I have my kitchen, my living room, my spare bedroom, and the bathroom all circle the staircase. And then, then there's the upstairs half of the house. Um, but the thing is, like my dining room is off the side of the house. It's really weird. It's like off the kitchen and then next to the front porch. So it's kind of like, this is, I film in here because it's off the rest of the house. So if somebody's here, they're not bothered by my talking or whatever. Um, they, uh, like scents in here don't usually a tart will make it in here just because it's like so far off the rest of the house if that makes sense um i have a glade warmer in here just because i was curious as to how particular scents would throw this tart from long cane primitives shot through the whole house and that's a pretty big feat for like a tart that's going in this room in particular because it is so off the side of the house um but anyway this tart went like crazy for like three days at like a full strong and then it kind of mellowed into a medium. And this peach is a good peach. It's not a stinky, like, urine peach. So definitely want to place an order with them when they reopen because um, this stuff smells awesome. And it lasts forever. And it's strong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then from Starlight Chandling, I did one tart and strawberry preserves. I don't think I did a haul video for my order from Starlight Chandling. But I got a couple strawberry blends. Her strawberry is really good. 
it's not a jam, like a super sweet scent. It's more like a fruity strawberry. And this is exactly what that was. This didn't smell like strawberry jam, but it was a really good strawberry scent for about three hours. And then it kind of fizzled into a more fake strawberry, and it lasted about a total of six. It still kind of was lingering this morning, so um, it's a good scent. I wish it lasted longer, like a real fruit scent, as opposed to that fake strawberry that a lot of vendors have. Um, so I'd say that if I was going to order again, um, I would put that in my order because it was pretty good. It was about a medium throw. It wasn't super strong. Um, I mean, it was, but it wasn't. I don't know how to explain that. But um, I liked it. I liked it. Okay, then from Butterfly Lane, I have two scent shots from them. Um, this is the first one I melted. This is Paramel. To me, this smells like caramel apple. It's going right now. Um, I don't get pear out of this at all. It smells like caramel apple. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Definitely like this, though. It's really strong. In my 20 watt warmer, it's throwing very well. I can smell it in the spare bedroom, which is pretty good because um, it's the closest room to the dining room. But, uh... It definitely, you can't smell this in the living room, so. Not as strong as the Long King Primitives, but still pretty good. Then I finished three sun shots from um, Lasting Sun Candles in this round. The first one I did was Sticky Bread. This was so good, guys. Um, a lot of Pam's Bakery scents I love, so this was really yummy. You got, you got that, like, toasted bread scent mixed with, like, caramel and sweetness. This is such a warm, inviting fragrance. My house smelled like I was baking. My sister, who hates bakery scents, hated this one, so I know that it's a good one because she hates bakery scents. Um, awesome scent. It went about a day. Then I did this. This is Tre Leche Cake. Again, a really nice fragrance. This was sweeter than the sticky bread. This had no bread note in it. It's a very, very sweet, creamy, milky scent, if that makes sense. A very milky, sweet scent. Kind of like, I don't know. I've had bakery like this. I've never had tre leche cake, but this is so good. It's like a nice, creamy, sweet, milky fragrance, caramely velvety oh loved it the only thing i didn't love about this scent is when it finished it kind of started fizzling away it smelled weird like a chemical weird so i dumped it um but while i was going on the first day it was awesome on the second day it wasn't so awesome but i really love this i would definitely reorder this particular scent and then the last one this is my favorite scent from lasting scent candles ever this is their cinnamon sugar donut um i love this scent it's just straight up one of the only scents that actually smells like donut to me. This is going right now. Um, half my house smells like donut. The other half smells like caramel. You got to be here, guys. This is so good. Um, love this one. And I'm assuming it's going to go another day because that's usually the norm for my lasting scent candles. So those are the scent shots and the clamshells that I finished. Um, I'm going to go right into all the other stuff. I melted a strawberry satsuma from Tiffany Candles. I did one uh, scent shot, not one scent shot, one fluted tart. Um, if I was going to order, if I was going to make a reorder with Tiffany, and at some point I will because I love her, um, I would not reorder this. I did not like the, the way this smelled like, within the first two hours I started not liking it, and then within the six hours I hated it. Um, I like the, how this smells on cold. I do not like it warm. So it's about a medium strength, and it lasts um, like eight hours, I think. So um, for what it was, it was good. You definitely got the strawberry. You definitely got the Satsuma um, scent, the dupe from the body shop. Um, but I just didn't like it together, that's all. Then from Tiffany Candles, I did more of her scoop in zucchini, blueberry, whatever that was that I have. Oh, z blueberry zucchini bread. Um, I love this one. Um, then from Happy Hippie, I did her scoopable in my 24 watt hot plate and this was my sh royal sugar cookie cotton candy vanilla bean noel blend i believe i can't even remember this is the first time that i've had good luck with happy hippie this did throw about medium to strong in my 24 watt hot plate i just think it's silly that it takes a 24 watt hot plate to melt a scoopable because this does not work in my Light bulb warmers, this does not work in my 20 watt, um, it only works in my 24 watt, so go figure. It was really good though for what it was. Um, I love the sugar cookie scent that she has. Um, from Granny's Kitchen Candles, I did a Granny's Country Candles, 
I don't even know because I've never ordered from her. I did one Sunshine Vampire Kiss. This was okay. It was about a medium throw in my 20 watt. Um, this is the only time I've had good luck with Granny, so. Um, then for my heart wax, I did a chunk in Wildberry Moose Noel. I wish Audra could um, figure out a good way that works for her as far as shipping and, you know, a timely manner of ordering things because I would totally reorder from her. Her stuff is awesome. This Wildberry Moose um, Noel was amazing, amazing, amazing. It threw for two days. Love Wildberry Moose. Her Wildberry Moose is excellent. So definitely, definitely, if you get a chance to order from her, do it because no matter what, People are saying about her um, turnaround time. It's a little odd right now. Um, it's really worth it. She's got some good stuff. I really like her stuff. And then the last one that I have um, is from Closet Full of Wax, Strawberry Coconut Cream Bread. Okay, so I finished my bag from Michelle probably about two days ago. I melted my last chunk. Um, to be honest, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just my tastes have changed. Or if I've just had coconut cream bread that's been better. But I didn't like this the second time around. I don't know why. Um, and if I was going to order some from somebody right now, she wouldn't be it. Um, because my experience with her has been about medium to maybe semi-strong. But it's not super strong anymore. So I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if it's the wax or if it's my melter. But I didn't have the best experience with her stuff. And it didn't last very long. About five hours. So, I don't know. Alright. Oh, wait. I have one more. From Foam Porch, I did Pink Coconut Cream. I shouldn't even mention that because I do it every single time I do a video. Love that. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That's all that's on my list. So, with that, I'm going to be off. I'm going to get some tea and honey for this throat and see if I can get better. And, yeah, if you have any comments, questions, leave them below. And I will get back to you at some point. Um, yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care of yourselves, guys. And until next time, see ya. Bye.